Now y'all know y'all just be getting me raw, live, and just in rare form because I feel like you just gotta give it to people real nowadays. So ain't no faking, ain't no phoniness, ain't no fronting over here. Look, eyeshadow coming off one eye and everything, but you know what? I'm still gonna do this and what? Hmm. <laughs> so I don't know if you've heard, you know, the news about Miss Sarah Stokes. A lot of people are like Sarah Stokes. Who's that? Well, let me go ahead and give you a brief recap, real quick. Remember making the band season one? I mean, like the very, 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 very first. Sarah Stokes was the only singer in the group. The group, the light skin girl, the curly hair, the pretty one. You know. Well, Sarah recently made headlines because of an issue that she's been having with BET. Well, I kind of wanted to speak on it because I kind of feel some type of way. You know. As a female in this industry, it seems like it's always a double standard for us, right? Well, BET reached out to Sarah Stokes to be a part of Centric TV's new show called From the Bottom Up, which is produced by Queen Latifah, for those of you who don't know. Well, Sarah Stokes is one of the cast members, and I'm assuming that the show is about people who have been in the industry and maybe kind of like fell off or... You know, something tragic happened in their lives that, you know, made them had to, like, fall back from pursuing their dreams. Well, the show is basically supposed to show how people have overcome those struggles to become, you know, who they're truly supposed to be within this industry. And Sarah Stokes would be one of them. Well, apparently, BET has took it upon themselves to fabricate some ish. They reached out to her and told her that they wanted to give her the opportunity to share her experience. Um... In a positive light and for those of you who don't know um sarah was recently incarcerated for stabbing her husband bet apparently used sarah Stokes to create a commercial campaign for the show but instead of doing what they said they were going to do they did the complete opposite which was to make her look like an animal they had the nerve to call Sarah a husband beater. Like, that's the last thing somebody wants to hear. Like, she knows what she went to jail for. She doesn't need to be reminded every time she turns on BET. And she didn't need BET to try to use her as a way to get ratings. We know you guys are lacking on ratings right now because VH1 and MTV are killing y'all. Um, pfft, I'll wait. But you're going to tear down one of your very own. This And the funny thing about this is, is that when Sarah Stokes blows all the way up, I can't wait to see how fast BET is going to come running when they try to join the bandwagon. Now, everybody was so mad about the whole Stacey Dash thing and how they, how she said that BET, you know, isn't for black people and BET has deceived us. Well, this is exactly what I'm talking about. How do you take a woman who's already been beaten down, I mean beaten all the way down to the ground, career stripped from her, loss of opportunity, almost everything her sanity her pride her dignity and then you continue to beat her down like that's what's wrong with the black community we don't never build each other up we always tear each other down but then we'd be the first one to complain about other races that do it to us you can't be mad at somebody else and you're doing the same exact thing it's like michael jackson said you gotta look at the man in the mirror you hoping that they change their ways right well, you can't be mad that cops are running around here killing folks when we steady killing our own selves. And it don't always take a weapon to kill each other. We kill each other with the hate and the negativity that we put upon each other. And I think it's really messed up how BET even did her like this. I mean, we're supposed to be empowering and uplifting one another, especially our black women. Black women are always at the end of somebody's joke, at the end of somebody's pleasure, at the end of somebody's demise. Like, it's always a black woman who's always getting put down. And I just think it's real messed up, like, the way people have just been coming for her. And it's like, yo, this woman has been through hell and back. Offer her some encouragement. Offer her some inspiration. Don't tear her down. I mean, this is exactly why we never get ahead as a people, because we're always trying to find a way to keep each other down. When we should be trying to come together and build each other up. And I just think it's really sad the way that BET is just trying to single her out. But what about all of the male actors who've been in domestic disputes with their wives? You don't see HBO and Cinemax and Stars singling out Mel Gibson, Nicolas Cage, Sean Penn, Steven Seagal, or any of these other big time actors about the way they used to beat on their wives. No, they're still getting called to do million dollar movies. Like, so don't put Sarah in a box.
Again, BET singling out their own kind and stumping them to the ground. But you want black people to support the movement. Like, it's wrong. It's just wrong. But it's cool. Y'all can hate on Sarah all y'all want. Last time I checked, she was on Steve Harvey a couple of days ago. Check. Um, she's on a major network on a show produced by Queen Latifah. Check. And Sarah, you know, I know it looks, you know, rough right now. But baby girl, keep doing your thing. And don't let this or nobody else stop you from doing what you got to do. I believe that, you know, God didn't bring you this far to leave you now. And, you know, you might have had to go through the fire to get to where you're going. But in order for us to get through it, we got to go through it. And baby girl, your time is coming. And I just can't wait to sit back and laugh at all the naysayers when it's truly your time. I'm just saying, if y'all want that fabrication, y'all got to go to them other guys because we don't do that here at ShadeStar.com. You getting it raw, live, and real. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. And if Sarah is so irrelevant as everybody claims, then why is BET using her to get ratings? Oh, because their ratings have completely fallen, so they're pretty desperate at the moment. Yeah. Do your homework. Men lie, women lie, but numbers don't. Hmm. See you at the top, Sarah Stokes. Mwah.